Hello, welcome back to the Basketball Soapbox. I'm Daniel Daly. Um, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as we continue our questions for each team in the NBA. Um, we're going to, we're still in the Eastern Conference. We're going to move over to the Central Division. If you want to check out any of the questions I've had for the Celtics, the Nets, the Knicks, the Raptors, or the Sixers, uh, you can check those out on the page. Um, but let's continue. Uh, we're moving on to the Central Division and looking at the Chicago Bulls. Um, and I really don't have a question. It's really just... It's time for the Bulls to trade Zach Levine. Looking at the current state of the roster, I know they had a good success story when they were in the number one seed with DeRozan and Caruso and Zach Levine and Lonzo Ball. And that was only a couple of years ago, maybe three, two years ago. And a lot has changed since then. They finally moved on from DeMar DeRozan, I think, a little bit too late. Um, they still have Nikola Vucevic on the roster, but it's time to move on from Zach Levine. And yes, he is a productive scorer and kind of a trick-or-treat player in terms of producing on the floor in terms of success, but putting up good stats. And it's like, it's time to move on from him before either another injury happens. They were trying to trade him last year. He got hurt. Whatever the case may be, it's time to move on. And the reason why it's time to move on is because you have a youth movement here and trying to actually basically be close to a rebuild. Do that. <laughs> Rebuild the team. Seems like they're doing that. They have Kobe White. They have Ayu Domosu. I always mess up his name. Um, they drafted Mathis Bezelis, um, who's, who was a good kid there who played in the G League Ignite last year. Um, they traded for Josh Giddy, even though they didn't get any picks from that. And that maybe this is the way they look at Josh Giddy as a draft pick for the Chicago Bulls. But in general, just continue with this youth movement. Um, Lonzo Ball just came back. Uh, probably not going to be with the team long term. I don't know the, the situation on that. But he just played the other night. I believe he had 13 points. Um, so good to see him back on the floor. And it's been like three years since he's been with that knee injury and had to basically relearn how to run and shoot his form and all this other stuff with his legs. And just glad to have Lonzo back. Um, whatever capacity is, he could be a trade chip as well. Um, Nikola Vucevic, whatever value he has, if you can trade him, just get something for him and just continue with this youth movement because the Chicago Bulls haven't had a youth movement or a rebuild probably since, I want to say 2005. That's when they had Kirk Heinrich, Andres Nucioni, Ben Gordon, Luol Deng, Tyrus Thomas, um, the baby Bulls. I think Taj Gibson, a young baby Taj Gibson out there. So, yeah, like you go all the way back to that era of the Chicago Bulls. It's been a long time. And that Chicago Bulls team ended up upsetting – uh, the Miami Heat um, after their championship uh, year. So just looking at it from that standpoint, the Bulls have always been trying to just fight for a playing spot, fight for that bottom seed. Whatever the case may be, it's time to just have a full-fledged rebuild and just move on from it and try to trade a little bit of these older players that are just older, that don't fit the timeline, and continue and commit to a rebuild. It's time for that. Um, time to stop messing around and rebuild. That that's there's no questions for the Chicago Bulls. It's just the trade Zach Levine. It's not will, when, how. Just get it done because it's it, it. You guys need to move on and move on to better pastures and actually start a rebuild and start to rebuild this team. Um, that was to be my segment on the Chicago Bulls. My next team up in my countdown is the Cleveland Cavaliers.